Hey friends, Ram Man here. Today we wanted to talk about uh, needle bearing replacement on the uh, on the Timken hubs that we ship out. These inner needle bearings are are replaceable. Right here, right here, we're using these Koyo bearings right here. Part numbers B-2110. Beautiful thing. Remember now your stub shaft. It rides right there. And so all you have to do to replace these bearings naturally is you just need to tap them out from the inside. Often I'll take a little a point. And this one's actually got a bevel end on it and it helps out. And they actually come out fairly easy. You may want to use a may want to use a flashlight, but any of you quality dudes have done this before you've removed bearings you just stick it in there and and just tap it with a hammer and make sure you rotate it they come out really really easy it's not that big of a deal anybody anybody can do this here's this one right here you can see i just tapped it out so and then of course when you're going to replace your bearing or whatever you need to use something soft like a block of wood or this is a piece of aluminum or whatever and they install real easy too anybody can do this see it going in until it goes down to its seat right there so that's a beautiful thing about this design is these inside needle bearings are replaceable or whatever. Now, we get these off the internet. These are Koyos or whatever. But these uh, these new needle bearings are only about $7 a piece. So, they're really, really affordable. Now, these should be, these should be greased really, really well with a high-quality grease. And I'll tell you something that's forgotten. I remember the old manuals and the old paperwork on vehicles that used to come with lock and hubs. And we haven't specified this. Oftentimes they ask you to lock in the hubs every few months just for a few miles. Just for a couple of two or three miles is all they wanted you to do. Because this right here is rotating like this and free. And then when you lock it in, they're rotating together. And it helps stir up the grease and and also in the front pumpkin and, and the carrier, whatever, it stirs that all up and keeps everything all looped. So it's a good idea every couple of months just to lock in your hub for just a little while, just a mile or two. And it will help prevent this uh, failure and la make these things last a long time. And of course, don't forget to grease them through the ABS port with your fitting that we send you. Alright, my friends? So... Once again, these bearings are real easy to replace. Just tap them out with common tools. Get your new one, stick them in, and just tap them right on in with something soft. Real quick and real dirty. Make sure you grease them really well. And with that, God bless America, God bless you, and happy Mopar.